Shares of Lululemon jumping as well today after Truist upgraded the stock to buy from hold, raised its price target by more than $100. The firm saying it believes Lululemon has momentum beyond the pandemic, and they view Lulu's higher income customer base as a key asset in this inflationary environment. Joining us, the analyst that made the call, Beth Reed from Truist Securities. Beth, thanks for joining us. Well, what, ha what happened to the Lulu growth story? This was everybody's favorite stock, and, and there was so much runway ahead of it. And then it's, it sort of has been underwhelming in the past year or so. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Sarah. First of all, thanks for having me. Um, I would say when we initiated coverage on the stock in December with a hold rating, uh, we were bullish on the brand and the business and secular category tailwinds, such as the consumer's prioritization of health and wellness. Uh, valuation was a bit full, in our view, at the time. Um, there was a bit of a sentiment overhang uh, given, you know, around Mirror, which didn't perform up to expectations. Sales for, for, that, uh, for the business ended up coming in, you know, about 50% of what uh, we had initially expected. Um, so I think there was really just a, a kind of drag on it. Um, you know, a, a lot, some investors maybe perhaps um, bucketed in with other COVID stories. But I think now as we look at, you know, coming out of the pandemic, consumers are still gonna prioritize health and wellness. Um, as you mentioned, the higher income customer base and pricing power we, we see as key assets um, in an inflationary environment. And then thirdly, uh, the company's TAM is larger than what we thought it was um, in December. And so expanding into footwear, golf, and tennis collections, as well as when we come back to the office two, three days a week, whatever it is, we're not wearing suits. Lulu has a product for us. So I think they benefit from all of those trends. The valuation is actually closing in with that of Nike. So Nike's at 36 times next year's earnings, Lulu's about 40. What, what, that, what should that gap be? Um, well, when we when we so we're looking at a uh, uh, 2023 um, PE ratio, and so when we when we initiated on Lulu, that was in the mid 40s, and it's come back to 35 times. And so I think this is an attractive buying opportunity um, for what we view as a long term growth story. And, and when it comes to Lulu's performance during recession or periods of economic slowdown, I know you said it does well during an inflationary environment. They've always had good pricing power. What, what happens to, does it just get thrown out with all the other consumer stocks when there are worries about the, the economy? I think that would be unfair. I mean, I think, you know, we're starting to see the bifurcation potentially between the lower income customer cohort and a higher income customer cohort. And I think Lulu uh, definitely stands to benefit uh, from its premium positioning with the higher income customer base. So I, I'm not concerned about um, their performance uh, fundamentally in a recessionary environment at this point. Got on it. All right, 495 price target on, on Lulu. Suggests another 90 or so plus gains. Thank you, Beth. Beth Reed from Truist. Thank you.